Oh yeah. I got you. Hello beautiful people. I know you are waiting for the newest Kami addition to Street Fighter 5. I guess Christmas came early this year because I will give you a present for bringing Kami fan art. So the special thing about this project is I will be creating the model as well as I will be showing you how to make it into a figurine. That means if you want you can print the model and keep it on your desk. So let's get started. So for this one I will be using it uh, from the base mesh. I have created this body for my tracer and I will be using the same body uh, and I will create this cami version out of it. So I'm just detailing. While we detail, let's talk about how you can learn 3D fashion. In the beginning, it's not going to be easy. If you're coming from 2D, you might have some understanding of perspective. But if you're someone who has started starting from 3D onwards, this might be a little bit confusing for you. Like switching to orthographic view or wireframe mode. When you look at those things, First, you will think that you apply. First thing you want to do is make yourself comfortable with the softwares that you're planning to work on. Navigate a lot and you will end up working for five minutes and rotating around your model for one hour. I can bet it, it's not a joke. So as you can see, we are only detailing the model. I have just kept the bra on, on her, uh, not me. But yes, that is what it is. So yeah, uh, it's the first layer of the clothing, which will come on top and the jacket will come on top and then, or maybe the pants will come after this one. So let's see. Uh, while we keep sculpting, let's discuss what can be done next. Once you're familiarized with the interface, I would suggest you move on to the basic functions of modeling tools like extruding, cut, split, detach, attach, separate, etc. 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 So these are very basic basic functions. Even if you are not into modeling, you should be aware of it. By not into modeling, I mean if you are interested in animation or rigging, you should be aware of such small or basic functions. That I just talked about and here what I am simply doing is I am masking the area which I want to extract or make clothing from I'm masking them I'm extracting the piece and then I am just simply sculpting it out moving it out and detaching it from the body to give a feeling that she is wearing some skin tight outfit for skin tight outfits, for gloves, for uh, this kind of leggings and uh, anything, bands or bras, you can just use this technique, mask it out and extract from the surface. The easiest and the fastest way to go about. Now, since you have learned the extrusion, cut, split, detach, whatever the basic functions there are for the 3D software, what is the next step for you is to create 100 props and I'm not joking you should create daily objects the objects that you use on a daily basis such as your kettles your cups mugs bottles whatever and try to replicate it and make it as close as possible what it is in real life you should create electronics uh, mouse keyboard or monitor simple objects first and then you can move on to the mix of rounded as well as hard surface objects can be your controller your ps5 whatever it's up to you it's just for your practice and for your understanding of how 3d works once you get a full understanding and you get more comfortable with your softwares you started creating your props it will be a good time to to excel at it you have created 100 simple props now you can combine all those you can create buildings 
you can create a full desk setup you can create whatever you want in 3d now it's up to you so here what i am doing is i am just trying to fix the shape of the face to make it a little bit more stylized like she is in street fighter and a little bit more like similar because uh, there is no way i can find uh, the exact face right now before the release of the game but why not just try it so yeah here was the attempt anyways moving on and when you create those objects now i'm getting back to the topic of how you can learn really faster and when you can create those objects those props that i was talking about you'll find a lot of improvements and if you plan to fix them or if somebody uh, if you showed your work to someone and they uh, they told you some some kind of feedbacks and if you are planning to fix them then you can consider yourself a level up for other people because those people create something and leave it as is and start working on other projects when it comes to feedback from others or if you already made something and you saw the error you realize that you can see it already and fix it you have the ability to fix it but still ignores then that's just criminal it's not tolerable fix what gives you peace of mind so yes take feedback constructively and as soon as you apply on it you'll see that you've got a good mental satisfaction and if you have found the feedback from your end by yourself that's even good even then if you are trying to ignore that and if you're trying to go by what ever it's already there it's fine for you it is uh, don't do that don't never please so if you are seeing this right now i am just doing following the same thing same agenda it's a very simple kind of clothing some tight legging and then will come the part where i will create the jacket i will create the jacket in marvelous designer in this video only but if you want to watch the full detail of that jacket i have uploaded it in the earlier video of half of a workflow from uh, marvelous to zbrush there i have detailed the jacket if you want to have a look at that you can go ahead and uh, yeah so what i'm doing i'm just masking it out and i will extract or maybe i have decided not to extract and then uh, just inflate that you can also inflate that so this is one technique that you can use to create spider-man suits or detailing any kind of uh, superhero character suits whatever so yeah that's the technique that you can use make sure your masks are sharp that means when you can hit control alt and click on the model your mask will get sharp now we are in marvelous designer and i'll just try to create a little cute jacket real quick also i would like to say that if you guys want to learn zbrush and want me to create a full course on youtube i'll do that from interface to high level sculpting i'll do that uh, with multiple in multiple videos so let me know if you want it write yes in comments if you want it if you want me to do it i'd love to do it and uh, yeah so coming back to the topic now you have created a lot of props a lot of objects and now you have a good understanding of how modeling works you know all the basic techniques and you know some things about uh, beveling and uh, how to create rounded edges supporting edges how to make it sharper how to make it smoother manually not in sculpting so now what you can do is you can create those objects what you find uh, like you should move to sculpting as simple as that once you are done with your basic vertex modeling as we say in the industry vertex modeling or uh, maya modeling max 
modeling in max once you have enough practice on that you should move on to sculpting and the best or the best practice that you can do is to model something some little object daily even if you are doing props that i talked about or if you are doing sculpting so now you should move to sculpting and doing some organic modeling and start creating some smaller shapes such as skulls or different part of the body like just the lips i have seen a lot of people create very bad lips or just create just the nose uh, so sculpt smaller shapes first by first i mean in the beginning uh, if you try to create a full character or a full face you'll find out that your face is looking wobbly and it's full of errors it's fine you can do that but the best practice is to go with small objects first even if you are sculpting why so because smaller objects will let you uh, have a good practice with your interface as well you will get to know your interface know your all of your other brushes before you move on to your big pieces or the pieces which can go into your portfolios what we are talking about is how we can learn 3d faster and this is these are some techniques not i'm telling you to create pieces for your portfolio these are just some techniques that you can use to learn sculpting process or any modeling process faster okay once you see some shapes and able to replicate it somewhat similarly then you can move on to creating base bodies creatures or dragons or if you want to do some hard surfaces in the brush watch good tutorials on them then you can go ahead and create them so why to create base bodies because in the first you are not allowed to use pre-made base meshes it's not good for your practice it's not good for your 3d understanding and it might be faster you may seem like that in the beginning that uh, i won't be using the base mesh because i can make it i'm good at it but no if you really want to improve your 3d game i don't go that route don't just download any base mesh or buy any base mesh and start working on it don't do that you should try creating at least five to ten base bodies of your own because then and only then you will get the sense of true sculpting and you will feel more attached to it. and you won't be guilty for future believe me so same technique that you're seeing gloves same techniques just mask it out make sure your masks are proper so that you don't have to move things around a lot and then just start sculpting start detailing and you've got a little profit now you have created all your base meshes now you know what to do go crazy these this is going to be the last step for your 3d journey like modeling journey at least so you can go crazy and create full characters abstract art creatures three concepts do whatever you want and now you can say that you have learned the first part which was modeling the field is huge the modeling is the first part then comes texturing and etc uvs and whatnot i would suggest when you were creating props and you were learning maya or max or uh, the basic interface for blender or any other software where you can do vertex modeling i would suggest you learn uvs as well because that's going to help you a lot and that's the one tick done right there you don't have to worry about uv and textures later on maybe textures if you don't want to learn textures first you can start by learning modeling and uvs and then sculpting that's the basic funda so yeah uh just creating some props for her i hope you are liking what i'm doing so yes that's pretty much it there's still some time in the video let's talk about something hmm. i was talking about base mesh earlier so for me personally i would say that i 
in the beginning uh, haven't used base mesh uh, once i got an idea of how anatomy works i've got a book also and i'm planning to buy an ekoshi as well uh, but i always collect lots and lots of reference when i'm creating any body so yeah on the channel also if you have seen i have created most of the artworks from scratch these are one of those uh, artworks where i used some pre-made body which is mine i created this piece body so yeah if you want you can do that as well but before using any of your base bodies i would suggest you create five to ten of your own base bodies uh, create anything dog or uh, goat or whatever uh, humans are compulsory male female uh, some other aged as well so do that then move on to your uh, detailing part or the last part creating your full character adding clothes and all first have your own base mesh yes that gives you a lot a lot of understanding how the body works how your sculpting looks like how your forms are uh, how the length of the character the age of the character everything that will give you a big scope if you are skipping that part if you are directly using some other guys base mesh or somebody else's then you're just missing on a lot of detail and a lot of improvements which i would not suggest which i would not recommend in the beginning once you have done five to ten base bodies of your own you can go ahead and use your own base bodies which you have created for your next project you can create any uh, character from there yes so first create your base bodies take lots and lots of feedbacks on them improve on them and make sure you have created a perfect base body for your character for your upcoming projects it's going to be for future it should be future proof so yeah make sure you do that and practice a lot and you will become good at it you will yeah it's, it's, it's a good feel to be in we are creating shoes for her i won't gonna be pose here in this video at least so in the next one uh, i will pose her i'll make her uh, print ready i'll split the parts which i will see is uh, hard to print so there will be multiple parts which you can print separately and then when you get it in physical form you can join them i don't have a printer for now but if i get one in future i'll try to print it and maybe paint it as well and keep it at myself for myself so yeah uh, detailing the shoes for now and i hope you uh, you are liking the video that i have created and i hope you like my earlier video as well uh, most of you guys are not subscribed 83 percent are not subscribed what the hell man i'm doing so much work for you i'm gonna be starting a zebrish series soon from from beginner to pro level please subscribe if you don't want to miss that and uh, yeah more exciting videos coming up on the channel i am uh, for now i'm creating this channel very casually not everything uh, you know everything related to 3d i've also added a room tour i am planning to add i don't know what whatever i want whenever i feel uh, free or uh, i'm creating this channel as a hobby for now but let's see where it goes so yeah that's the plan you might see me uh, doing random stuff on this channel as well not just 3d so yes uh, so for 3d printing i can uh, if i may just add a little bit here you might wanna avoid creating smaller objects which have spaces uh, what i mean by that if you tie your sh shoes you will see the laces oh, and the knot coming on top and if that's floating and uh, if you try to print them they might break you have to join them by 
using some uh, hard gum or something but that's not ideal so avoid them maybe or if you don't want to avoid them make the shoelaces the knots uh, stick to the surface so that way it will print along the surface and it won't detach itself and yeah make your objects like here and uh, don't add flyaway hairs or tertiary hairs make uh, simple hair or make them a little bit attached to it don't make thinner hair and uh, make them uh, way far from the surface otherwise they will snap when printing so there were some of the advices for you if you are creating some figurine or some object for 3d printing so yeah i hope you like the work i have been doing leave a yes in comment again uh, if you want me to start zbrush classes for free on youtube starting from interface basics to advanced sculpting techniques cami will be print ready so i will show you how you can pose and make it print ready how you can add keys and split it in multiple parts for easy printing stay tuned for that and subscribe if you don't want to miss that i love you all and i will see you in the next one peace And yeah, don't miss the turntable in the end. See you later.